Hi, welcome back. I thought I would uh, talk to you today. Some of my favorite lessons were the ones where you didn't have to play anything. I used to love those guitar lessons, but uh, today I thought I would talk to you about the parts of a song because there certainly are uh, parts that we name, certain different parts of songs that we have names for. And I know the Stones were really into just mapping these out on pieces of paper. Sometimes a chorus will start a song. Sometimes a verse starts a song. So the, you know, there's just there's really no rules. It's just when when songwriters write songs, what parts do they have? Do they need a bridge? Do they need a B verse? Do they need this? And they ask themselves all those questions. But I thought I'd pass this along to you so that you can recognize some of these parts of songs. So you, so first, there's going to be I'm going to use a very formulate formula. Uh, formulated type tune will be a Bon Jovi song because it's just there's a certain formula that it, it rolls out. You'll be hearing the verse and then you'll be hearing what we call the B verse which sort of builds, the, the idea of a B verse is to build tension into the chorus which the chorus is kind of the release of the song. Sometimes you don't need a B verse, sometimes you'll just have a verse right into a chorus. But uh, I thought I would show you these three parts so that you can have fun listening to some of your classic rock tunes or whatever you listen to and recognize some of these parts. I'm not going to do a bridge today. I'll just sort of give you an example of a bridge after we listen to this. Go ahead, Jason. So this is... Uh, going to go into the, the verse part. Okay, he's going to go into the verse part in a second. Still doing the intro. We sometimes call this the head the tune. Sounds like he was getting some there actually. So here we go. This is his verse. It's fun, huh? What I dig about this tune is it's a beautifully written B verse. The next section he goes into we call the B verse. Musically, it changes, and it starts to build tension to the chorus. So coming up the B verse. There it comes. Two. Feel the tension building. Rolls right into the chorus and sets it up beautifully. See how that works? Okay. That's great. Thanks. And those are three sort of parts, really important parts of a song. Another important part is the bridge, which I don't have an example. I'm going to sing sort of a bad example. But uh, what the bridge of a, of a song is supposed to do is present another side lyrically and another side musically. And the, the song I'm going to use, and you probably don't have this, but you know the tune, is What's Love Got to Do With It by uh, Tina Turner. And she's singing this song, but the, the beautiful bridge is that when she goes into the part, goes, I've been thinking about a new direction. That's just a beautifully written bridge because it presents a whole different thing. So you can listen for bridges in songs also. So the verse, the B verse, the chorus, and the bridge, four main parts. Go have fun and check out some of your favorite songs and identify those parts. <laughs>